Hey there toy collector friends and Batman fans alike. Welcome back to the channel and I'm the time traveling toy collector and this is the Batman Automobilia Special Edition Batwing as it appeared in the Batman movie, the original 1989 Batman movie, the one that sort of re-kicked off uh, the Batman movie franchise as it were in live action. <clears throat> Uh, however, it's also about to be reseen, it's possibly slightly reworked and re re remodeled, but reseen in the upcoming The Flash motion picture um, with Michael Keaton back in the saddle, as it were, or the cockpit, but saddle sounds a bit better. So, again, yes, this is part of the um, now historic, I suppose, Eagle Moss. Uh, hero collector range of Batman automobilia vid uh, vehicles. You'll see here, this is actually, it's a really nice model. I think it was one of the first special editions that came out. Um, those of you who've watched any of the other videos may recall, um, I'm not doing these in the order they came out because I don't actually have them displayed in the order they came out. Um, and I haven't kept fastidious track of that. Um, but I just really, I really like this collection. Um, I think in the majority of releases, they're very clever and selective in terms of what they pick. They go for a nice range of iconic vehicles, um, but they also go with quite a range of <clears throat> slightly less well-known um, and less complex vehicles, which probably helps balance out the budget. But this, this is one of their larger scale ones, and I think it looks really, really good. And you can see if I get in, obviously I haven't taken the case off yet, but when we, if we get in like that, um, admittedly it's obviously on autopilot because there ain't anyone in that cockpit. Um, but if I get close enough, you can see that against the skyline there and the moon in the background. And I think that, I think that looks pretty good. I think this, uh, the lenticular diorama at the back is quite uh, appropriate for this one. They haven't always been, but it is for this one. And of course we've got the sky cover down below so if i move back a bit you can see um there's the sky so the 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 bat wing is flying high above the clouds so let's <clears throat> not waste any more time on this let's see if i can unhook simply uh this without causing any kind of mayhem wasn't too difficult I wish it was always that simple it's not um let's have a look quickly as usual at the uh lenticular diorama you can see from the lighting on there that it is a lenticular piece um again it doesn't really afford much in terms of a super super 3d image but you can see a little bit there perhaps the buildings on the lower left and lower right hand side um showing the majority of the impact the clouds aren't really doing all that much the moon certainly isn't but it's a nice view <coughs> of pseudo gotham uh to have in the background so that's lovely thank you very much uh, eagle moss so here again we have this fixed base and it's it is uh sort of hard wide in as well as the notification this is from batman the movie and it's the batwing so we can see some of the underside there so there is detailing on there that sort of uh yellow frontal lights are, are quite effectively uh, produced in an additional plastic to pull them out um we've got those additional fins at the bottom there um, so actually, yeah, it, it is nice from below. Uh, <coughs> let's turn it to come head on towards us. And again, we can see those those lovely fins there that are around the, the top of the cockpit as well as there. But if I angle it slightly, this probably won't work, he says, ever the optimist. Uh, but we might be able to get a nice long shot. I appreciate that we're, I'm not going to zoom in because you'll lose the wings. But you see that against the moon at the back there. Um, you can see that the wing, the, the, the fins either side of the cockpit, really nice. You've got the intake vents there, uh, which are really, really nice. You've got the surface detailing. It's not uber surface detailed, um, but there's plenty there. The majority of the detailing really takes place on that central module. Um, you can see the cockpit there underneath the uh, transparent plastic. There's some detailing on the interior, what looks like a screen, some controls, um, some ground level controls either side of the seat, and there's the seat itself. Um, there you go, a little, little look at the back there. 
so you can see it in all of its glory. And of course, when it zooms up, we get to see it. Let me just readjust slightly uh, as the bat symbol up against the moonlight, or in this case, the, the cloud cover, because I can't replicate it with the moonlight. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a very nice, very solid, very robust model by robust i mean you know this is a, it's it's a, it appears at least i'm probably i suspect it isn't the more i look at it the more i realize it definitely isn't but it doesn't look like lots of disjointed bits of plastic it does feel like a solid entity you can see that the fins have been added in um and i think there's an upper and lower section uh mel uh melded together but overall the effect is uh, of a very sturdy vessel again it's not super playable um you do have a little bit of spring in its step if i just tap it there is a bit of give um in the in the stand there uh but yeah i certainly again like a lot of eagle moss stuff if not all eagle moss stuff i really wouldn't recommend um treating this as a toy it is not uh, it is a display model it's a collectible uh, it's somewhere between a collectible toy and a display model, um, depending on if you want to use it for toy photography or model photography, etc. Um, but I think, you know what, of, of the collection of Batman uh, vehicles, I think this is one of the, it's certainly one of the more iconic of the reimagining sort of post-1989 uh, Batman resurgence, if you like. Um, some may argue there's never been a resurgence because he's never gone away. And I would suggest that I do agree with that in terms of the published media. But if we're looking at what published media has generated in terms of merchandise, mostly the merchandise um, revolves around live action. Uh, mostly around live action. Not, not, not completely, not uniquely. Um, but I think this uh, particular model is really lovely and I'm good I'm really looking forward to I haven't obviously seen it yet I haven't really looking forward to seeing how this manifests in the flash um when it comes back uh I'm just gonna sort of pull in a little bit here because I've mentioned that we've got some of these yellow this the addition of the translucent black plastic here to pull out this we've got some paint detailing on the guns front guns here matched on either side um some outlining <clears throat> of the cockpit there which is done very nicely and we've also got some red here. You can see that around some of the engine area. So there is there is some minor paint applications uh, to give accents. And I think again, this is one of the strengths of this range, is that Eagle Moss and Hero Collector putting this together, they haven't necessarily gone crazy with paint applications. I think if we look at some of their other uh, other releases. Um, like some of the uh, elements of uh, Doctor Who figurines, some of the elements, um, perhaps more, many more of the elements within the Star Trek Starships range. Almost the more paint apps they try to put on, the greater the risk of inaccuracy and a disappointment for the, for the fans and for the collectors. Whereas if there are minor accents, then they can be applied with a bit more um accuracy and a bit more uh care especially if they are uh, where they are hand applied uh, according to eagle moss uh, um public relations material should we say so all in all the bat wing i really like it i think it scales nicely with the um with the collectible set the, the sort of xl equivalent set uh, within the the batman uh, automobilia range because I think this is just a, a beautiful I always think it's a beautiful uh, piece I think it's a beautiful vehicle within the context of the film and I think it's very much a beautiful piece when I'm looking at it here so this this does excite me greatly that that it's in my collection and it was lovely to actually revisit it um, so I you know thank you for the opportunity if you don't have one of these and you would like to pick one up they occasionally come along on the secondary market um, I think a lot of people have these and like them. I also see them occasionally crop up in, um, I'm just trying to get a better shot there for you, more centred, um, in uh, at conventions where you have people who are selling 
um, again, obviously secondary market, but are selling some of the Batman automobile stuff. And the prices vary. You know, it's. I think this is now. Ooh, maybe around ten years since I've had this collection. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. And of course, depending when you're watching the video, um, that will have changed dramatically. But you know, I think it's. So so naturally, there will be less of these out there. They've not been re-released, to my knowledge. There'll be less of them out there because people will have damaged them. They've got broken. They've got lost. Um, various things will have happened. So yeah, it will be something that the market probably would bear, seeing an increase in in the in the price point for. Um, and if you're a collector, you're going to pay it because if you want it, it's worth it. Um, if we, if you don't want it, then no amount of reduction on it is going to make it of interest to you. So I think always be mindful of, of how much you want something before you spend your money on it. it. Sounds common sense, but I think we all get sucked in from time to time with the excitement and the, the fear of missing out on something. Um, anyway, I've been the time traveling toy collector. You've been a fantastic audience. And if you found this video enlightening and interesting and useful, and if you maybe now want to get your hands on this or have realized that you absolutely don't want to get your hands on this, which is also fine, do please drop a like to the video. And similarly, um, subscribe to the channel. Um, it, it's a small click for you and a massive thank you from me because it really, really does help the channel. Um, so I'd be super grateful. Uh, so yeah, so I'll leave you uh, with a couple of shots as best I can, given its size and scope of the Batwing. Um, and I hope we're all looking forward to seeing it in the new Flash movie. Um, it, for me, would definitely, I think, be one of the highlight storylines um, possibly more so than the main one, but I think there's a lot of people saying things like that. But I remain impartial until I have seen the film. Anyway, thanks very much. Take care. I'll see you in the next video, I hope. For, for now, just remember that a thing of beauty really is a toy forever. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>